This is the Economizer Honeywell Jade Controller Basics. There'll be an advanced video after this that you'll want to follow up with if you want to dig deeper. And if you have not previously watched our regular series on Economizer Fundamentals in general, you probably want to do that before this. Otherwise, let's jump in. So what we're going to do to get to the setup is we're going to scroll down here. So go Status, Set Points, System Setup. That's what we're going to start here on a new, a new install. The key on the left is an escape key. The key on the right is an enter key. And obviously up and down arrows just scroll you through. So now that I'm on system setup, I'll press the enter key. And now I'm into the system setup and I can see everything that's on this menu here. And it just kind of goes sequentially in order. We'll skip a few to save time, but install date, self-explanatory, degrees Fahrenheit, Celsius, self-explanatory. Equipment, conventional or heat pump. Conventional means everything that is not a heat pump. So gas, heat, electric heat, if you had a wood-fired pellet heater, fine. It goes under conventional. Heat pumps are the only thing that goes under heat pump. We'll talk about heat pumps in the future. Uh, aux to input. There's a flexible input that we can use on this controller for miscellaneous things. One of those relates to a heat pump, or actually two of them relate to a heat pump. Uh, one is for shutdowns. If you had a smoke detector wired to this and you wanted to have it shut down the damper at the same time and shut off the unit, you can do that. And then the one we're going to use most applications is going to be W. So I'm going to change this one to W. So it's on shutdown. I'm going to hit enter. I'm then scroll till I get to heat W1. Press enter. It'll say change stored. Now that I have that change stored in there, I have it on W1. The reason I'm putting it on W1 is almost all rooftops are now two speed fan, which means in addition to the cooling calls Y and Y2 coming to the unit, you also need the W call coming because the fan speed will change, hence the minimum ventilation damper position needs to change. If you scroll down there, speed fan, one or two. I just said most units are two speed fans, so we're gonna hit enter. We're gonna toggle that up to two speeds, hit enter, it says change stored. Now it's set up for a two speed fan, which means I'll have two minimum damper positions, which we'll talk about in a second. CFM, it doesn't really do anything for most applications. 99.9% .9 of the time, this is a useless field, so don't worry about it. But if you had a bunch of accessories and you wanted to do some calcs for you, it could do that. AUX1 output, there are different things you can program that to be. Almost every single one of them, you'll put on SYS. So you're gonna hit enter, you're gonna scroll to SYS, and hit enter to save that. That's in a, it's a system alarm. Whenever there's an alarm with the economizer control, it gets sent, on, sent out on that auxiliary input as a contact closure, and then your thermostat or your BAS or whatever can pick that up and know there's a problem upstairs on the roof. Occupancy, the default is input. It's looking for an input from a thermostat, a building automation system, something to tell it when the building is occupied versus unoccupied, motion sensor, whatever it's gonna be. If you don't have that, and by the way, that is required by code in almost every state, but if for some reason you didn't have that, then you would wanna change this to always, so it's always running the schedule 24 seven and always provides ventilation air. Unfortunately, that means it provides ventilation air all night long, whenever the fan turns on, but it's better than not having vent air. So input is the normal scenario if you're gonna wire to it correctly. All right, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna escape back out of here I'm going to scroll up to set points. So now we've kind of configured the different things that we have. Now we're going to go and do all of our settings related to those things. So if I hit enter on there, I'm now in the set points screen. I'll switch over on my book to set points and you can see it up here on the screen as well. Uh, the first one is mixed air temperature set point. The default is 53 degrees. That's pretty normal. Normal systems are designed for 55 degrees supply air. The sensor is upstream of the fan. The fan is going to add a degree or two of waste heat. Hence the 53 degree set point. So you'll leave that alone. If you had a weird project and you're doing something special, you might change it, but a regular job, 53 is the right number. Low T lockout, the default is 32 degrees. I personally like to raise that up to 45. This is when it's gonna disable the below that temperature. In my mind, if it's below 45 degrees and I cannot cool the building with the economizer alone, something's wrong, right? So 45 degrees seems plenty. Uh, so anything below 45, I lock out the compressor. Above, above 45, the compressors can run. The next one is dry bulb set point. The default is 63 degrees. That's a pretty good setting. That's the most optimal setting you could probably have. Most codes from, for most geographic regions will require a set point of 70 degrees, meaning if it's below 70 degrees, you have to use the economizer. 
I'm not a fan of having economizer all the time between 63 and 70 because there are some humid days where it becomes a problem. So my suggestion would be you set it for 63, even though it does not comply with the code, or you'd be good and you comply with the code and upgrade to an enthalpy sensor instead of a dry bulb sensor. But if you leave it on dry bulb, 63 is probably where you're gonna have to end up. Uh, if I scroll down, it would show me the enthalpy setting next, but I don't have an enthalpy sensor wired, so it's not showing me that. Enthalpy sensor has different curves associated with it. ES2 is the curve that I'm gonna recommend that you use. It's the most compliant with energy codes, and I personally think it does the best job, a good balance of, of uh, taking air that's not too humid, but also not wasting energy either. So ES2 is where I'd put that, the default ES3, so I would change that. DCV set point. Oh, I don't have DCV on here either. I don't have a CO2 sensor, but if I did have a CO2 sensor, the default set point is 1100 parts per million. That's a pretty good set point for most of the country. Generally, most codes require you to set it for 700 parts per million above the outdoor ambient level, which is usually 400 or 450 for most places. Hence, you end up with an 1100 or 1150 set point. It only goes in 100 increments. So 1100 is your set point. The only exception to that, other than specialty jobs, would be if you are doing work in the city of Chicago, the city specifically, they have a code requirement for a thousand parts per million as a set point, a little more strict than other areas. If I scroll down, I got minimum position H and minimum position L. There are two minimum positions in this case because I told that I had a two speed fan. If I only had a one speed fan, you'd only have one minimum position, but in this case I have two. Uh, so what's, what damper position do you want to go to for minimum code required ventilation when the fan is on low? And what do you want to go to when it's on high? And then I have an exhaust fan set up on here as well. So when the damper gets to X percent open, in this case, 65% open, turn my power exhaust on. I can change that. Maybe I want to make it 45%. Or I can lower it down or 50% or whatever I pick. Say 50, hit enter. Now, whenever the damper opens halfway, I'll kick the power exhaust fan on to relieve the building pressure problem that's occurring. So hopefully that gets you on the right track. We will have a follow-up video going through the advanced settings. But right now, it's functional. It's ready to go. You can obviously go to the status screens and make sure all your sensors are reading correctly, right? And then you can let this thing operate. This would be set up for most normal jobs.